Hey everyone, uh, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, today is Monday morning. Oh, it's so nice to be able to come down here and uh, not see a whole bunch of just junks. I mean, I got a junk pile over there, but I'm talking about right in front of my doorway here. So it looks really good, I'm really happy. Um, today's video, guys, we're gonna talk about the power room. This is a big update for the power room. Um, for all the off-grid equipment, the Tesla batteries and the inverters and charge controllers and all of that stuff. Okay, so let me take you underneath the house here. So this is the power room that I started to build, right? Um, I framed it all up. Everything is all nailed off. Everything is level. Um, I, did, I didn't cut the subfloor yet. The subfloor is just sitting there. It's not cut the size or anything yet. Um, but I came into a small little issue, guys. So the small issue is, is that I cannot use this for the power room. Um, just to put it very straight. Um, here's the thing. I could technically use it, but I'm going to be very, um, it's going to be very confined as far as the amount of room I'm actually going to have in there. Um, one thing is because in order to, because I have a concrete slab that goes, you know, all the way around that way and that way, but nothing in the middle, right? I, I had to be able to attach my um, frame to something, right? To the wood frames or wood that's around my home already in the post in the 4x4 posts and stuff, right? So what I had to do is I had to go and find the highest point and pull from there and pull level, okay, from there. Because if I pull from the lowest point, it's not going to match up to the highest point because I won't have nothing to nail to, right? So I had to pull from the highest point where I had the opportunity to nail to something and then go out, right? So what you guys are looking at right here, this board right here, the frame that goes this way. It's completely level, but what that did was it raised me up pretty high off the ground on this side. Over there in the corner, I'm maybe four inches off the ground. And then over here, as you guys can see, I'm well over a foot off the ground, right? So that's why I said, you know, uh, talking about pulling and, you know, trying to level everything off. So now what that said was, what that did was it raised my floor up a lot higher than I wanted it to. Okay, so what that does is that makes it very, it makes it a lot shorter when you stand in here, guys. You know, when I'm standing in here, and then when I look straight up, it's, you know what I mean? So the, the, the ceiling is, or the roof, um, is a lot lower than I wanted it. Let me back up so I can show you guys. So the distance from the floor to the ceiling, because I, my plan is no matter which room I build, I'm going to insulate it, you know, put drywall and all that good stuff, right? So um, from the floor to the top, it's actually a lot, a little bit too short. Um, what that does is it makes, it makes the room feel very small because the room is shorter, right? And so that was going to become an issue because I, I want more room. Because as I grow over time and add more batteries, more Tesla batteries and stuff like that over time, you know, I may run out of room on one or two walls, right? So now what I'm thinking is I'm going to go ahead and use this room. I'm still going to utilize it, yes, but I'm going to utilize it for a different purpose. I'm not going to utilize it for the power room anymore. So now this got me thinking about the size, you know, the, the height, of course, and the actual size. So what I'm thinking is, I'm just going to go back to my original idea, guys, of building a separate power room. I don't mind building it, just going to take a little time to get it together. So what I'm thinking is, build a completely separate power room out here somewhere. You know, away from the house. You know, it doesn't have to be a mile away or anything, but you know, away from the house. Um, that's going to serve two purposes. That's going to serve the purpose of me being able to build the size of a power room I actually want. Right, I can I can go bigger or whatever, you know, longer, bigger, wider, whatever. Um, I can also um, I'm gonna have more of a um, um, sense of security, just in case something was to ever happen to my batteries, and something went awry, and we we're gonna have a problem. You know, at least that it's not underneath my house. And let's just say, say for God, for instance, anything goes wrong, anything. I don't plan on anything going wrong, right? But let's just say that happens something goes wrong for some reason something catches fire and it goes straight up it's going to burn down my house right so that was the original plan why i decided to build a separate power room to begin with 
Now, the reason I wanted to build a power room underneath the house the second time around was because it made it a lot easier, right? Because I already have a technically a roof. I already have half the walls built. You know what I mean? So it was going to be a lot easier to to build a power room under this house. Um, and I could easily go to a different location um, down over there and I would have a lot more room. We're talking probably about almost, mm, let's see, what is that? Nine and a half feet, almost 10 feet on that side. So there's a lot more room, right? Because the grade of how this, you know, how the, my, um, how the land is. So there's a lot more room over there. So I could, I could build the power room over there, but um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go back to my original thinking of building a separate independent building for the actual power room, guys. Okay? So, yeah. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just debating. Right now, I'm debating on the size. So, luckily, I didn't cut that flooring or I didn't nail it down or anything. So, I can still use those two 4x8 um, sheets of um, tongue and groove subfloor. So, I can use those two pieces already. But I think I might go bigger. If I'm going to build this power room, I'm also make sure I have more than enough room and it's going to be comfortable, right? Instead of being like a small little box. So maybe go um, 12 by 8. Maybe 12 by 8. Because that would mean all I would have to do is, you know, think about this size, but out here somewhere. All I have to do is throw one more panel, right? Because this is a 4 by 8 sheet, 4 by 8 sheet. Then throw one more 4 by 8 sheet, right? Just build the frame bigger out here. And um, then I would have technically a 12 by 8 room. Which would now give me a longer wall on one side, right? And it would give me enough depth in the room to um, have enough room to maneuver and work with and install all these things on the walls and all that stuff, right? So um, these are the options I'm thinking right now. So I am going to build a separate power room, guys, out away from my house somewhere. Um, I, right now, I'm just trying to come reconfirm to myself what size room I want to build, right? Like I said, I could go 12 by 8 or I could go 10 by whatever. You know what I mean? There's so many options, right? But ideally, because there's going to be a lot of batteries when this is all said and done, you know, the batteries are going to take up a lot of space on that wall already. Plus the big inverters and stuff I got, they're going to take up a lot of space. So ideally, if I had a longer wall, that way I could accommodate mostly everything on one wall. Instead of having to put like something on this wall, then something on this wall, and then that's, and then some stuff on that wall, you know, it starts to break everything up. You know, um, I would kind of like everything just to be laid out nice and clean, flat against one whole wall. So maybe by extending the distance of this, you know, extending the different, the distance, it would be, you know, pretty good. So, um, yeah, guys, if you guys have any questions or, um, you know, um, comments or anything, leave a comment, guys. Uh, I'm just going to make sure I'm safe, guys. And I want to be able to have the room the size I want to have it. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to build a separate power room, guys. I just need to think about the exact size of that power room that I want to build right now. So, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, if you guys like the video, I'm just going to give you guys a quick update on the power room build. I am now, at this point, not only deciding on the actual size of the room, I'm actually deciding on the location of the room, right? So, you know, I don't really want it to be way out there because it's too, pretty far away and it's going to be in the wind because the wind comes right through here, right? So it's really windy. You know, I really don't want to put it anywhere out here because as you guys can see, this is where we turn around and park and maneuver and do a bunch of different things, right? I don't want to put it right here in the front because I am going to build a two-car garage out here with concrete and everything. Um, so I don't want to block this area because I want to be able to just pull right in onto a concrete slab. That way, if I ever have to work on my car, it's going to be a lot easier. So the power room technically would not work the best here. You know, I could technically put the power room in the garage, yes, um, and put it on the walls and that would work, but it'd still be kind of technically attached to the house, right? Um, so, um, you know, these are things I'm just thinking about, guys. So I am thinking, get this car out of here, get this car out of here, get all this stuff out of here, um, and then maybe, maybe build the power room back over here and look back against this, um, this um, hill a little bit over here kind of where that grass is not where, the, where there's no grass right now maybe you know right in that spot somewhere that way it's far enough away from the house so it's the safety is there i don't have to worry about it burning down my house or anything um and it's not too far away and the other thing is too my house my home is actually acting as a wind block from this whole side over here technically until you get like past that wind turbine pole over here in the bottom 
Um, so, you know, I have my house as a natural wind block to help protect that building from winds and blowing it away and whatever. It's going to be anchored down and stuff, but I don't know, guys. It gets real windy out here, and you got to make sure your roof is secure. Everything is really, really built good, you know, because if not, it'll fly away. So, anyway, guys, uh, just an update on the power room, guys. Yeah. Tell me what you guys think. If you guys had to build a power room, what would be an ideal size um, floor layout that you guys would um, maybe think about? Just remember, a lot of these components are pretty big, right? So technically, a 8x8 eight eight room would work, but I'd have to break things up on different walls because the wall, the one wall span is not long enough, right? So give me some ideas, guys. Anyway, guys, if you guys like the, the video, hit the like button. If you guys not subscribed, subscribe. Um, and then I'm going to give you guys an update on my video, I mean, on my batteries um, tomorrow or maybe this afternoon when I get home from work. And then we can go over that stuff. Um, but yeah, for now, guys, the power room in there is a no-go. Um, we are going to be building it someplace else and a different size. It's just going to be a lot better. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll definitely see you guys on the next one.